Walking without pain, getting your strength back. Recovery can be a real pleasure, as long as you follow advice and don't try to rush things. Now a lot of the recovery is up to you. Do it as the doctor prescribes and your progress should go well. Your care team will help you learn how to do a lot of daily activities safely, like getting into the car, using the stairs, and taking a bath. We teach you how to do things like getting in and out of a shower, using the toilet correctly, dressing correctly, transfers in and out of a car. All these things you need to do to go home safely or talk to you before you leave the hospital. You should arrange for assistance in returning to your daily life. This can come from friends and family or a home health nurse. Some people may need extra care and may be transferred to a skilled nursing facility or rehab center during the recovery. Your doctor will work out the rehabilitation plan that's right for you. If you experience unusual pain, swelling, or other problems, tell the surgeon or your primary care physician immediately. Most people need a cane, crutches, or a walker for about six weeks while healing. Some may require a wheelchair. Leg exercises are very important. Uh, they uh, will strengthen the leg. If anyone does try to think they can outsmart the therapist, it's a losing cause because they will pick up on that. They know their business and they will get you back on track to get those legs strengthened. You'll be encouraged to get out of bed and follow recommended exercises. This will increase blood flow to the legs and help prevent blood clots. Pillows between your legs can relieve some of the pain and make you more comfortable. Compression stockings will keep down the swelling as you heal and help prevent blood clots as well. While sitting, keep your feet apart and your knees together. Take your medications as directed by your doctor. Here are some other things you need to be cautious about. Hip replacement patients should avoid crossing their legs for a while. Your doctor will let you know when you're ready to climb the stairs. Don't drive until your doctor determines it's safe. Avoid more strenuous activities like running or any vigorous exercises until the doctor says you're ready. And be careful whatever you're doing because any fall could cause serious damage to your new hip. Overall, you want to stay with the program. This means seeing your primary care physician regularly following your rehabilitation and exercise schedule, and taking your medications. You'll also probably visit your orthopedic surgeon for progress checks. There's a lot more information on this website, including a patient journal with checklists for the topics we've discussed. Hundreds of thousands of people have hip replacements every year, and they're among the most successful procedures done today. Good luck and good health on your own journey. That was the best thing I ever did. No pain now, and uh, it's easier to walk. I can enjoy walks, um, ride a bike, get on my quad, whatever I want to do now. You know, you look up and go, I've been given another chance, and it's great.